But first, I need to uh, mend the cylinder. Again, you see my thumb is hanging there while I'm digging it so that my cylinder is still quite straight while I am opening. And make sure the bottom is flat and even you can emphasize on the uh, little indent right by the corner so that you use most of your clay. Press the flow a couple of times. And then I call it in. And a bit more on the bottom. So you're pulling it up also or are you just coloring? Color in. It's very hard to pull it up. But once you color in, you squeeze the clay so it becomes taller. Since the clay is still quite thick, so I would do the inside lifting. Okay. Right here, my inside finger, slowly grab the clay. With my outside supporting it. And you see that my outside arm is resting quite steady on my left side. You always want to find a very good support. Now I can lift it up with my right thumb. While I move it in, my index finger is holding on the top. So I do two things at a time. I color in and I compress the ring. Slippery again. Also on the inside. Okay. Let's leave a tip. I could put a little bit of a slip here, right in the center of my palm. So while I'm lifting it, if I feel not slipping enough, I'll give it a touch. So with the slip, you could do that, but with water, you cannot fit the water inside your palm. Since I'm going to use the uh, sodium silicate, so I will leave a bit of the thickness on the wall.
the uh, curved side of my rib. Okay. I, I would like to show you the contrast. Okay, so this one here, I have more of the uh, design of the line here and leave this part planned so when I stretch I show you the contrast and on the very top portion here I will not put any sodium silicate so this part I could still work on. If I want to close, close it in, I could do that. So it's about uh, two inches here. I will not put any uh, sodium silicate. And uh, before I do that, because the uh, sodium silicate is going to go down here, so I will clean up. Yeah, uh, I put the sodium silicate and then I will torch it. So the surface is still, uh, the inside is still wet, but the outside dry. And the sodium silicate is going to bound on the clay. But the sodium silicate is kind of like a, a glass, you know, it's a liquid glass. But once it dry, you kind of bound it. And then when you stretch, it just crack. So you, you get a very nice texture. Actually, people, uh, when you are doing the slip cast, you add this into your slip to get your slip watery. Just a tiny little bit, you will see the difference. And uh, after you put in the uh, sodium silicate and, uh, and dry the surface, uh, you don't you don't need to touch the outside. So the inside hand has to be very steady. That this is also a very good way to practice your stretching, stretch, making the shape. Put any clay back in the jar from the brush. It doesn't. 
clay doesn't go on on the brush. Yeah, you have to wash them. All right, getting wet. Looks like storm. Storm is not. It'll hold. Oh. I usually touch and cry when I don't see any shiny coming in. I don't see the reflection. That's good enough. Another way, uh, if you want to have a very good texture, okay? Um, I don't know, you have uh, some kind of roller or some kind of implement. Okay, those kind of tool, you can go get the service first and then you stretch from inside. Okay, so you have different kind of uh, looking, different uh, takes of uh, different textures. So, but uh, when you use in that, uh, my suggestion is you might want to put some, maybe a ball or something on top, okay? So when you're making the indent, you trap the air inside. It's easier that you can get it deeper, okay? Seal it, like you, you, you hold the air inside while you are making the uh, texture, okay? Get a ball or maybe even you close it. You close it, and later on you can reopen it. Okay, that way you try to back a, a balloon. So when you are making the texture, it will be easy. You have a support. All right. So this is about right. You have to do it a little by little. The wheel's going pretty slow. Uh huh. I think you see my hand is moving. Texture, you've got different feeling. Mm -hmm. I put the bottom and the, the, the top, the, con the contrast for you. So, when you applied the um, sodium silicate, did you do an even coat after bottom? Have you ever? Is there you could do uh, some spot a bit thicker, so the difference. thicker one, yeah, you oh. will get a, a thicker crackle pattern. the only one section. But like here, I didn't even apply anything here. So yeah. Good. 
the, the spark, you will see the difference. You apply the solid silicon and you don't, you will see the difference. The hand precision, uh, it's just like a stretching, you know, if you go like that, using the fingers, and just push out slowly and you bring it up. I wish this is transparent so you will be able to see the inside fingers. <laughs> We're working on that, the clear clay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me know when it's done. So can the clay be used again with the sodium silicate in it? Oh, yeah. Let's say it you want to fold this up. Yeah, it will be uh, a bit too hard to do. But just a little amount should be fine into your clay. Right. But uh, once you dry it, it's, it's very hard to reclaim it. Oh. So basically you have to bend it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, I have more finger touches. This finger touch more as yeah. So the fingers like this. Bring it up. that but uh, I, I just like to use my fingers. I have a more touch and more feeling with the rib. It's harder for me, for my, myself. Is that why you prefer not using a sponge? Because you want to have your fingers mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to use my fingers to feel the play. here so I could still work on here to make the uh, finish look better.
I'm shipping, I usually keep my wheel speed slow. Yeah, the button is so rough, um, so too much texture, so I don't want to keep my cup in it. So I want to go, just to go with the body. Do you have a certain philosophy? Not really. Not really. I usually don't think of what kind of shape I, I like to make. I just do, when get to the point, I think this is it's good to do this. And this is good to do that, so it's just that my mind goes by itself. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of spontaneously. Actually, I wasn't planning to make it the top like this, but uh, you know, it happens. <laughs> it happens. I will keep this, and maybe tomorrow I will do a little bit of trimming. The bottom will be a bit thicker, but uh, as you can see here, it's quite thin because from a cylinder, I stretch it and uh, the height didn't go much lower. It's pretty much about this high, right? Why don't I stretch it? But again, a lot of volume. How would you decorate it? You use oh, you could use a glaze. Uh, some of that, uh, the texture, I put a glaze, especially when I have a white clay, I like the, the contrast black and white. So I usually actually uh, a, a black glaze. After I glaze them, I first, I, I would probably glaze this part a little bit differently. But this part, I glaze it and then I wipe it. So the, uh, the, the glaze, I uh, will go into the deeper spot and the higher point will show the white. You could do that or you could do the uh, 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 red on upside too. It's up to you. Okay? Okay, everybody say aloha for the camera. <laughs> aloha! aloha. aloha. <laughs> <laughs> All right.